What's up, everyone? I'm literally sitting outside of Costco here, and it reminded me of a question that I've gotten many times before, maybe more of a personal story at this point now, but it's talking about putting on muscle, putting on weight, um, just general nutrition. And the key thing I found about nutrition is that you gotta make it a habit. Um, it's At first, it's an effort, then it becomes a habit. And it's not just about, oh, I need to eat after I lift or, you know, I make sure to eat my breakfast. It's the total package. It's understanding the base level aspects of nutrition. What's a macronutrient, your carbs, your protein, your fat, and having that self-education so you can make educated decisions. That's a small portion. The other portion of building a good habit is not just the purpose and understanding of why you should do it, but it's actually doing it. So going to the store buying the right foods. At first, you might have to bring a grocery list. That's okay. Um, at first, you might make mistakes and not get foods that, that you won't like that much, and that's okay. Uh, you might have to learn to adjust in certain ways to make sure you meet your macros. So let me give you a couple of tips. Tip number one, I just mentioned it. Have a grocery list. If you're not used to buying meals that fulfill certain macronutrient guidelines, well, doing your homework ahead of time can help you. Number two, don't be afraid to try things out. Go online, look at what other people are eating. I know that sounds really weird, but if you're a picky eater, you need to find things that you actually like. Number three is keep a food journal or log. No, you don't need to always track all your food, but being honest, for example, with my athletes, all I had them do is check yes or no if they've consumed enough protein. So, I guess that kind of goes number four is that self-education standpoint. What is enough protein? Is it 0.75 grams to maybe 1.5 grams of my body weight? Well, it really depends on what you're eating and the other macronutrients as well and the number of calories you're taking. So again, that kind of comes back into the original aspect of having a food journal. So number one, being aware overall. Number two, having these little tricks I just listed out. Number three is keeping yourself accountable weighing in when you need to, um, all in all, all these things are habits that you can build. And so I know I'm kind of rambling and I apologize. Point is habits, 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 get used to eating, um, the way you should eat. I'm not here to tell you what diet you should follow. I'm not interested in that. All I'm telling you is you should understand your macronutrients, understand your needs and use what you have available to you to assess whether or not you're reaching those goals. And the thing that never lies at the end of the day really is the scale, right? If you're trying to put on weight and you're not putting on weight, well, you got to find a solution. And so for certain athletes, that's really important. I know baseball people apply and try to put on weight. I know football players, um, if you're trying to lose weight, same thing as well, doing it in an intelligent way. It's kind of the opposite. It's not just how much weight can I gain or how much weight can I lose quickly, but keeping that in conjunction with your strength numbers. So my last rambling tip is keep track of your strength numbers during this process. If you're trying to lose weight and you're sacrificing power output, that is not the point of losing weight, right? If you're trying to do for performance, it's actually hindering performance. Well, that's not a good thing. So I got to run in the store. I just want to share that with y'all and hope you all enjoy.